And what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of our ARC Let's Play. So, not much has changed since I last left off. Uh, so we have to uh, get quite a bit of stuff done. I think our first couple of steps here is to uh, probably cut down some wood. In all honesty, start getting our house built up to the next level. So, I'm going to be chopping away here for a minute. Let's see if we can't get anything good out of these. Hey, look at level. I'll take that. Yeah, we need to uh, definitely start upgrading the house some so we can get some more room. Because our little uh, shanty here isn't going to last us for very long. Alright, so we broke our first tool. Let's go ahead and repair that guy. Oh, alrighty then. We actually need some flint. Go run over here to this rock. That's a little bit of flint. Go ahead and repair that, and we'll repair the pickaxe too. Alright. Let's see what it takes to make some, uh, some wooden buildings here. Some foundations. Go ahead and make like six of those. Go ahead and increase our carry weight some. No, not, not what I wanted to click. Definitely not what I wanted either. There we go. Go ahead and upgrade the floor some. Expand out this way. There we go. A little bit bigger. Looks nicer already. Alright, what else do we need? Hmm. Need a lot more wood. Alrighty guys, I'll be back as soon as I collect a good handful here. Alrighty guys, and we're back. So, I got a little bit of stuff done while I was away. I'll go ahead and show it off to you guys now. So, made the house about twice as big as it was. It's taller. There's more space. I'll go ahead and show you the inside here. So you come in. Nice big open room haven't moved the fire and pestle around yet but I did move some of the chests I don't know if you guys ever saw this or not but you can actually put a catwalk over top of the first uh, block here so yeah you can uh, put your chest up in the air so you have more floor space to put more machines and everything like that down which is a little bit more convenient gets it out of your way plus if you ever need to craft anything you can just look straight up and then look back down at the floor to continue crafting so we did do all that. Um, I got the refining forge up and running. So we're uh, we're cooking some metal here. As soon as we start getting some more uh, stuff around, we'll be able to craft the smithy here. Looks like we just need a little bit of wood. So I'll be able to grab that. And we'll go ahead and come over here to grab some wood. And we'll go ahead and craft up one of these guys. This will uh, get us into the next level of tools. Which, hmm, where do I want to shove this? I probably want to shove it back here against the wall. The closer you're going to let me get. You're not, are you? You're such a pain sometimes to place. Actually, can I just... Hey, I can. I can just shove it underneath. Here we go. There. See, now you can hit the crafting. And the storage right above it. Nice. Alright, so we'll want to throw some wood in here. Some fiber. Some hide. It's always nice to have this stuff already ready in the bench. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to need some metal. And we'll be able to get some better tools going. It looks like we already have some more cooked up. Sweet. Alrighty guys, say goodbye to our terrible pickaxe. 
because we're about to get a nicer one. Now with the better, oh, I didn't want to craft all those. Please stop, please stop. Thank you. No, okay, well, we'll have two. Never hurts to have an extra. And we'll go ahead and toss that because we won't need it anymore. But yeah, now that we have a metal pickaxe, you get a better metal spawn rates whenever you uh, you swing at these river rocks. Yeah, see, three metal from one hit. There we go. Now we got some good income going. But yeah, we'll go ahead and grab a little bit more metal and we'll start getting geared up that way. Because who doesn't like metal things? Should be enough to get us going. Yeah, 46. So we'll go ahead and toss that in there. And we'll uh, store up the stuff that we won't need right away. Oh, there we go. Because <laughs> who doesn't like glasses? And then we don't need a sparkler. Alright. Cooking up some meat. Looks like we got some done. Go ahead and grab that. Put a little bit more in there. It never hurts to have cooked meat laying around. And we'll put the spoiled stuff in here. keep cooking these into narcotics uh, if we had more berries and store up all these goodies don't need those don't need those we'll need those nope Let's feed our dinosaurs here. They're looking a little hungry. Always got to remember to feed your dinos. All right. Let's go ahead and see what our next objective here is. What should we move on to crafting? I'll be uh, right back with you guys once I get a good idea. Alrighty guys, so I figured out what we're going to do today. Well, I was uh, thinking about things that we need to do. I was going to collect some uh, narco berries to make some more narcotics, but uh realized we really, really need to get a berry collector, because it was taking a ton of time just to go and collect those berries. So we're going to take a look around, see if we can't find like a triker. Maybe a stego, something along those lines to help us out. Let's see here. Do I have any narcotics on me? No. Probably should grab eh, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's see, we can just go grab that off camera. But uh I see a trike right up here. So I'm walking around. That's what made me think about this. See if we can't snag him. What level are you? Level 15. That's actually not a bad dino to start out with. So what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to pepper this guy with these darts. Make sure not to shoot him too quickly because you need their torpor to build up. They always say wait about 5 to 10 seconds. So it's enough time to reload, run around for a second, get a good shot on him. Just keep running and running and oh that's gonna hurt doing circles on these guys until eventually this guy will fall down 
As long as you circle a dino, you normally are okay. And because it's a low level one, you shouldn't worry too much about it. Man, this guy's taking some arrows, though. Surprised he hasn't gone down yet. Oh, oh, you hit me pretty darn. Oh, I missed. That was bad. Oh, this could be bad. Come on, get out of the water. There we go. Oh, I thought you were stuck. Nope, you you tricked me. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How are you not sleepy yet? There we go. See how they're running away? There we go. Now he's down. We'll go ahead and dump some berries in you real quick. Throw the medjos in there. Alright. Go ahead and click up some narco berries. Oh man, collecting berries, like I said, it's it's pretty tough. When you have to do it by hand, it's uh it's not a fun time. Alrighty guys, and I'll be back once this guy is tamed. Alrighty guys, and welcome back. So we got the trike all tamed up and uh, while we went out searching for some uh, some hide to get a saddle we actually acquired a new friend it's a little Dilophosaurus there he's uh, he's pretty tough I'm not gonna lie he will uh, will definitely hold his own in a fight it's gonna be nice to have him on our side alright oh this guy wants some Chop this body up. But yeah, bring these guys back to base. Oh my god, look, sh like, just look. It's so much nicer to collect material now. Look at all those narco berries. You just uh, collect so much so quickly. Nice. Alright. Go ahead and boost some health on this guy. Give him some more stamina. A lot more carry weight. There we go. That is a lot tougher. that guy some more carry weight too so he can carry more meat on him and we'll start using him as the storage for it hmm apparently I got a skin didn't know that we won't use a parasaur because we have trikes but yeah it's nice to know need I need some flint well I probably won't even need that I might be able to make a metal one now well we had three bars here go ahead and put out the fire so we don't waste all the wood in there oh yeah we'll definitely be able to build a hatchet here we'll go ahead and get rid of this one Throw that on the ground. Pull over the other one. 
Look at that, guys. We're moving up in the world. We got a new dinosaur. We have a way to get thatch now, so I'll go ahead and build that guy. Or not thatch, I'm sorry, but fiber. Yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're really getting there. The base is starting to come together. Yep, uh, we'll be right back, and we'll figure out what to do next, guys. And we're back, guys. So I think that we're going to start working on a water system for the house. I know that the uh, the river is, like, literally right outside, but come on. we got to do it the fun way. Can you, like, not stand right here? That would be great there, buddy. Like, whistle stop. Can you, like, let me out of the house? Why, why are you going to be this way? Oh, what button do I need to... There we go. That's the button I was looking for. But yeah, I know there's water right out here. But it'll be nice to have it inside the house. Especially when we start cooking and making kibble and all that fun stuff. So I'm thinking about putting a pipe right through here. We should have all the materials to get this started. Let's see, we need a bunch of stone. Yeah, we should have plenty. Go ahead and grab all this up. We'll need some wood too for a tap. Yeah, we should have all the stuff we need. Alright, we need an intake. And Let's go put the intake down and see what we'll need. Let's see, I should... Let's go ahead and put it on this wall. So we turn directly around. We use this. Go ahead and slap it there. It could have been straighter. Let's go ahead and demolish it and make another one. Want it to be perfect. Oh, not what I wanted. There we go. Alright. I'll do a 360 real quick. Here, down, spin around. Oh, can we actually put it right here? Oh, that's really convenient, actually. Nice. I don't think we could put it that close. I mean, we can just run a vertical pipe. Alright, I'll swap back over. Throw the vertical pipe up. Nice. And then... We can do the straight pipe. Right there. Nice, nice. And how fancy can we get? Will that take cementing paste? Nope, not yet. And now we have water inside. So now we can put like the cooking pot and everything else like right here. And we can drink straight from the faucet. Nice. All right. What else should we do today? Uh, let's go through here. We probably should build a cooking pot. In all honesty, we don't have one. We can slap it like right here. Hmm. Let's see, cooking, cooking pot, what do you need? You need flint. It's actually easy enough to get. Is it in here? Yes, it is. We'll go ahead and grab that. 
Oh, wrong button. Didn't know you could melee in this game. Must have just added that. Let's see here. That's a good way to direction this. Kind of like, oh, that looks nice. I like that. Get it as close to the wall as possible. Sweet. Go ahead and throw some wood in it. Nice. So now we have the kibble right there, kibble maker. So when we actually start into that, we'll actually have it ready to go. Eat some more food because apparently we're famished. Ooh, I didn't want to eat spoiled meat. That's not good for me. Yep, that was a uh, that was a bit of a mistake. All right. So we built that. Probably should get a preserving bin so we don't spoil all of our meat all the time. But that does take spark powder to run. Farming, we're not quite well, quite ready to make that yet. We got all those guys. Yeah, we'll work on the wood later and build bigger. Hmm. Well, looks like the only major thing we really need to do is get some better armor upgrades and probably start farming out narco berries to make more narcotics so we can get more tames. Because I'd really like to get a beaver here pretty soon. We'll probably do that in the next episode. But, um,. I think we're going to call it here today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to come back next time. And we'll go ahead and see you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, I got more up on the screen right here for you. And if you'd be so kind to leave me a subscribe, like, and make sure to comment down below.